Okay, then time for the next step. What we're going to do next is um, we're going to use extrude to create a window in this face here. Um, so we're going to create some some new faces while we're doing that. Uh, but the first thing I want to do, because it's irritating me, is get rid of this um, resolution gate. So if we go to camera settings and just go to no gate, there we go. That's much uh, much less irritating. Okay. So first thing we need to do is make sure that you've got your room shape selected for this step, like so. And then you need to right click and hold. And we're going to select face mode, which will let us work on one face at once. And we're going to select just this face, like that. Okay. And now we're going to turn on the uh, extrude, which on the polygon shelf it is this little chap right here. There you go. Extrude, extrude the selected component. Wonderful. So you give that a click. And then this happens. This is a universal manipulator. So within it, it incorporates the move. So that's your little arrows coming out here. Scale. So you've got the three squares that represent scale and rotate the circle going around the outside. Okay, so you need to click on each one as you want to use it. And the first one we want to use is scale. So I'm just going to click on one of the outer squares. This blue one will do. And there you can see it changes to a square in the middle. So I can scale this now uniformly. I'm just going to scale it down so I get a bit of a frame for the window. Like that. That's lovely. And what I also want to do is using the move tool. So I'm going to click on an arrow this time, make sure that changes. I'm just going to bring it out towards the center of the room to give it a little bit of depth. So that's what I've created so far. Um, and then we need to extrude this face again to push it back in and create some more faces. So I'm going to click on the extrude tool again how and this time we just need to use the move tool and we're just going to try and move this face back inside itself like that to create this rather beautiful looking frame there we go then what we need to do is put the room back into object mode and then we can have a little look at what we've created so there we go in a couple of quite easy steps whoops um, we've created uh, a much more a uh, complicated looking shape okay and so in the next step we're going to turn this into something that looks like glass so I will see you in that step